Hello everyone, welcome to Teedle's Top 5 and this week we are looking at Teedle's Top 5 and Lazy Games. Alright, about lazy games, I mean games where you can just, you know, play with a controller, you know, you can sit back, relax, maybe you just came back from a night out, and all you want to do is just play some video games, but you don't want to play something too hard, so this is what I'd play. Coming in at number 5 is Castle Crashers. Castle Crashers is a sort of, you know, sort of side-scrolling beat-em-up game where... The aim of the game is just to beat up the bad guys and rescue the princess. You know, very you know, basic storyline, not very hard to follow, but you know, a certainly fun game despite, you know, what it sounds like. Coming in at number four, we've got Super Hexagon. Super Hexagon is, you know, a Twitch-based action game where the aim of the game is just to not get squished by the giant blocks that are falling towards you to the centre of the screen, technically. The game can be highly addictive, which makes it very easy to play if you're recovering after a night out or you just want to relax. The game's very easy to get a hang of with only having two controls, which is moving left and right to avoid the giant blocks coming to crush you. It's a highly addictive game and it's on pretty much every platform, so if you want to play something on move, it's very fun to play there. Coming in at number three, we've got Counter Strike Global Offensive, but more specifically the subgenre of surfing. Surfing in Couch Strike is a great way to kill some time as it's very enjoyable to watch how other people play the game and surf alongside with you. Providing you're not playing too hard of a map, it's not that hard to do and sadly you can't use a controller, but as it's Couch Strike I'll make this one exception for the list. For number 2 we've got Trackmania 2 Stadium. Trackmania is an arcade style racing game where you can be against other players around the world for the best time on different maps. Servers often play copyrighted music, which is very enjoyable to listen to, yet not very fun to record with. If you enjoy racing games, Trackmania is a great way to kill some time, as it's easy to pick up and you don't have to worry about competing directly with other players. My number one spot goes to Thomas Was Alone. Thomas Was Alone is a platform puzzler where you need to get all the characters, which also happen to be blocks, to the exit on every level. The aim of the game is to get all the characters to the end of the level into their own little white box. More often than not, you'd have to use each character's ability to help get the other characters to the end of the level. Despite the game being a puzzler, it's not that hard to complete, and each character has their own backstory and story with each other to make it interesting enough to pay attention to. That was it for my top 5 lazy games to play, so let me know in the comments below what are your guys' top 5 games, and leave other suggestions for top 5s to do in the future. Thank you guys for watching this video, have a wonderful day, I'll see you next time, goodbye.